Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, we're going to be looking at how we can derive the demand curve from the concept of utility. So you may be asking, what is utility? And utility is just a word that economists use to describe um, satisfaction. So total utility is actually the satisfaction gained from consuming a given number of goods while the marginal utility is the extra satisfaction gained from consuming another unit of a good. So every time you hear the word marginal, you always think of extra. So let's assume um, we're in a situation where, let's say carnival is coming up. And you know in Trinidad, um, for carnival, everybody wants to be fit on the road. So a lot of persons will exercise around the Queen's Park savannah. So let's assume we're ex exercising around the savannah we're making about three four laps and we haven't drank any water so we finish our workout after we made our three or four laps and you know we would be real thirsty so we stop by a coconut vendor to um, get some coconuts because you know we're really thirsty so when you consume that first unit of coconut water you'd feel so good you know because you, you have been so thirsty from all the laps you've been making so that as soon as that coconut water hits you you know you're feeling good so the first unit of coconut water you consume will give you the most satisfaction you might still feel a little thirsty and you'll say you know give me another coconut water the second unit will still give you satisfaction it will still contribute to your total utility but not as much as the first one remember the first one Will give you the most because you were dead thirsty so the first one will always give you the most satisfaction so let's say still to see consume a third unit of coconut water it's still going to give you some satisfaction but not as much as the first and the second and so you keep ordering coconut water and each time you order coconut water it's going to give you less and less satisfaction towards your overall or your total utility till you reach that point where you reach what we would call satiation, which is if you consume one more unit after this point, you start to get dissatisfaction or negative utility. So you could probably imagine after about the fifth unit now, if you were to consume that unit, the sixth unit, you'll start to feel sick. You might feel to drop. You want to use the bathroom. You, it, it doesn't make sense for you to consume that unit. You have total dissatisfaction, negative marginal utility. So to ex illustrate this some more, we're going to use um, some diagrams and tables as is expected with econ. You know with econ, we love to use our diagrams. So we could use these figures based on the case which I just outlined. And if you were to plot these values, we would get graphs looking something like this. So notice our quantity of coconut water increasing here from zero to six units look at how our total utility would behave right it would be increasing till uh, at about the fourth or fifth unit we get into 20 tu and then we would decrease to 18 and then the marginal utility look at it as well right let's watch the pattern now if we were to plot these points on the graph this is what we would get so if you were to plot these TU and quantity points, you'll get a graph looking like this. And if you were to plot the Q, the quantity and the MU, we would get a graph looking like this. Now pay attention to the slopes of the curves. For the total utility, notice that this is increasing at a decreasing rate. And notice that the MU is at a negative slope. And this is what we would call um, the law of diminishing marginal utility, right? So as increasing amounts of a commodity is consumed, the marginal utility of the additional unit consumed diminishes. So we see in here, as we consume more, right, the MU is... is adding less and less to your TU. We've seen it here because again, as TU is increasing, it's doing sort of decreasing rate. Note as well that when our total utility reaches this peak here, it's at its maximum, notice what happens to the MU. MU is equal to zero. Yes. And this is the point where we would have 
uh, satiation. If we were to consume any more units, let's say if we were to consume the sixth unit, our MU is negative. It's in the negative quadrant here in the graph. So it doesn't make sense to consume beyond this point. So utility uh, would be maximized at such a point here. TU would be maximized, right? And at this point, we have here satiation. So both graphs are showing the same thing, right? But it's, except this one will be looking at TU and this one is um, MU, right? So to show how we can use this concept to derive the demand curve, let's assume that the price of coconut water is $5. So how much unit should the consumer um, drink, right? He should keep consuming units of coconut water if he's getting more utility than the price he's paying for the coconut water. So for example, at $5, he would consume the first unit because it will give him 8 MU. And he would consume the second unit because it will give him 6 MU. It wouldn't make sense to consume the third unit because the MU would be 4. And so you'd be paying a price 5 which is higher than the satisfaction you're going to get from consuming this additional unit. So it doesn't make sense to consume the third unit. So at a price of $5, you'd consume only two units. Let's say the price would increase to $8. It would only make sense to consume the first unit because you're going to get an MU of 8. It doesn't make sense to keep consuming because at the second unit, the MU will only be 6. And again, this will be an MU which is less than the price. So it wouldn't make sense to increase consumption. And let's say we were to have a fall in price to $4. It would make sense to consume units up to the third unit because after which the MU would be lower again than price. And it doesn't make sense to keep consuming goods that will give you um, less satisfaction than the price we are paying. So it would mean then that... When marginal utility is greater than price, consumption should keep increasing to maximize utility. And when marginal utility is less than price, consumption should decrease to maximize utility. Remember, as a rational consumer, we aim to maximize utility. And so we would keep consuming until you would find then we would consume where marginal utility is equal to price and this is what we would call our equilibrium equation for consumer so if you're gonna if you were asked what is the consumer equilibrium using a marginal utility it would be where mu is equal to price now look at this based on the example that i gave right when price was eight dollars our quantity demanded was one unit. And when price, maybe I should put this back here so you can see the values. When price was $5, our QD was two units. And when price was $4, our quantity demanded is $3. What do you notice here? Do you notice that when price fell, quantity demanded increased? And when price increased, quantity demanded fell? What does this remind you of? Does this look like the law of demand? Yes, this is the law of demand. And so you see, this is how we derive the demand curve. Because when price decreases, quantity demanded increases, what you would find is that your demand curve is actually the positive portion of your MU curve. This is how we derive the demand curve. So I could say, for example, eight utils, in which case we are assuming, remember the assumption that M is equal to price. So we can now change utils to price. So we can put a slash here and put price. So at eight utils, so price of um, $8, our QD would be one. At a price of $5, our QD is two, and at a price of four dollars, our quantity demanded is three, right? So this is how we would get our demand curve. Remember, it doesn't make sense to consume where we would have negative utility 
so we don't include the negative portion of the demand curve here so of the mu curve sorry so the demand curve is really just this positive portion here and that is how you derive the demand curve from using the marginal utility theory if you want me to work some questions out um with marginal utility you could put that in the comments below i am a solution and i make economics videos remember to like share and subscribe and don't forget hit that notification bell